Hold on tight. Here it is. Strawberry letter. Thank you, nephew. Subject, my son was jailed for having sex. Good morning, Stephen Shirley. My son is in jail because he was caught having sex with a girl that was age 14 and my son was 16. The mother came home and caught my son in bed with her daughter and she immediately called the police and reported the minors having sex as rape. At the time, my son was still in high school. While at work one morning, I got a call from my son saying that he was being arrested at school. I, in a panic, leave my job and called around trying to find out what's going on. My son had been taken to juvenile court in West Texas to be charged for sexual assault of a minor. When I got there, I was told he needs an attorney. My son was placed on probation and he didn't succeed at this at all. I let my son be railroaded as a minor. In the state of Texas, the oldest of the two minors in question is charged with sexual assault. My son went off to college and was on probation. If he didn't complete it, he would be sent to jail. My son will be 23 years old next month, and he's being punished for having sex with a minor while he was a minor himself. All because a girl asked him to come over with his cousin. I feel this needed to be heard by other parents. Wow. Well, you're right in wanting to inform other parents about these laws so that they can tell their kids, so their kids can be careful if and when they go to other people's homes. I mean, you have to lay down some rules in your home about your kids doing what they do. I mean, like if your kids are going going to go to their girlfriend's house or their boyfriend's house. Um, very important information to have. Very important, and hopefully they will use it. Um, but it just sounds like some things were left out of this letter. I mean, did you get your son an attorney? I have to ask you that because you say you let your son be railroaded as a minor. And, and this was almost seven years ago because he this happened when he was 16 and he's 23 now. And you say he's being punished. Uh, he is in jail now. So you said um, this he's is what was... He's in jail now? Yeah, she it's, said... It's uh, not clear. Yeah, it, this letter is not clear. The My son is in jail because he was caught having sex in the first line. Yeah, I mean, that was back then. Yeah, yeah, back then. Good morning, Stephen Shirley. My son is in jail because he's caught. Well, at the top of it, now my yeah. son went off to college and was on probation. If he didn't complete it, he would be sent to jail. Yeah, I, I mean, it was confusing to me. I, I'm just not clear on that. Um, yeah. The best advice I, I can it. give I got it. I'm real clear on it, Shirley. I'm okay, the best advice it. I can give her is uh, to get an attorney. I mean, you have to. You, you really need to get some legal advice. Get a lawyer, get an attorney yeah. on how yeah. to move forward from this horrible really. situation. Steve? I'll be back. Say nothing to this. Man. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning my son was jailed well, for having you know, sex. This, this letter is tragic in a couple of ways. First of all, there's nothing I can do about it. Mm -hmm. And you're talking about if your son is 23 and this happened when he was 16, I don't know that there's a lot that you can do about it. I know Judge Mathis has spoken quite often about getting records expunged and things of that nature, especially seeing as how he was a juvenile. So as a juvenile, I don't think, I'm not sure, but you need some legal advice that they would force this record to follow you all the days of your life and have you registered as a sex offender the rest of your life for an act that was committed when you're 16. I don't know that for sure, but I find that hard to believe. So there has to be some type of way. Now, the fact that she was 14 and you were 16, there are no rules that you can implement for children that's going to stop them from doing anything. You can be the best parent that you want to be. Your children get out on their own and make a wayward decision. Thus, the result is this. Now, you know, your son being arrested, he was taken to a juvenile court in West Texas, charged for sexual assault of a minor. When I got there, I was told that he needs an attorney. My son was placed on probation. Now, see, we're going really fast now. Yeah. You know, did you get the lawyer? They were told he needed a lawyer. My son was placed on probation. Something was left out. And he didn't uh, succeed at this at all, meaning he violated probation. Now, your son right here is hard-headed. Let's just be real. I know you want to consider your son a victim, 
or what probation says is you can't come back down here for no reason at all or we're going to give you this time and some more. That's what they're saying to you. Now, you said, instead of saying your son committed another crime or something, you said your son didn't succeed at this at all. Mm -hmm. I let my son be railroaded as a minor in the state of Texas. The oldest of two minors in question is charged with sexual assault. My son went off to college and was on probation. Okay, that means your son succeeded. He he got off probation. He's in, Well, he, did, he was on probation in college. If he didn't complete it, he would be sent to jail. My son would be 23 years old next month, and he's being punished for having sex with a minor when he was a minor himself. All because a girl asked him to come over with his cousin. I felt this need to be heard by the... Uh, you're not asking us for any help. And you're not, you just wanted other parents to be aware of this, and we do appreciate you being an open and honest about your situation. I'm a bit confused by your letter, though. Yeah. I don't. You're saying now that your son is off at college, He's and um, your son went off to college and was on probation. If he didn't complete it, he would be sent to jail. That's what they do. That's what probation is. You're property of the state. They own you. They got deals on you. There's a lot of people living under probation. I've been on probation before. But see, once they told me, don't come back down here, guess what I did? I ain't go back down there. Mm. Now, your son need to sit his little stupid behind down somewhere. He 23. He too old for this. Now, he got to sit his tail down somewhere. You cannot break the law when you're on probation and expect anything good to happen. Let's just really have a real conversation here. So even though you've left out much in the letter, and I don't know all the particulars, your son, if he continues to do wrong, but at least get off probation. Do that. Don't do nothing for five years. Don't do nothing for eight years, whatever the probation period is. Go to college. Be a college student. You know, I hate people with like this right here. Thug and college student don't go in the same sentence. You can't. You one or the other now. So come on now. You know, talk to your son. Get your son to realize that he's put himself in a position, even though he was a minor. And I don't agree with the ruling originally, but it is what it is now. Now we got to deal with it. Good Thank answer. you. All right. All I got. <laughs> you can tweet me, Instagram me for your comments um, on the strawberry letter at my girl Shirley. We'll be back. You're listening. Sky high. Send that boy off. Do that.